Nita Costa, Hello. how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you so much. We really, really love our comic books here, of course, it's in the name of the yeah. site. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel to bring like this sort of like family dynamic to mm -hmm. Carol, Monica, and Kamala in mm -hmm. this one? It's really fun. It's it's really it was really important to me that it felt like three women becoming a family. Yeah. And family's such an important theme in the film. So I also wanted to anchor that with the Khan family. Yeah. And also they're just like the best. Yeah. So um, it was really exciting to bring to bring all of them together under that sort of uh, energy. Well, I miss Marvel House. I love the family. Oh, me too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad. <laughs> like everybody's like, oh look, I'm like, man, but look, they they love everybody. They're so lit. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> um, so you are a profound like mm -hmm. Marvel nerd. Like, <laughs> I like, am quite, yeah. Like yeah. us, you're like mm -hmm. one of my listeners. Mm -hmm. Could you walk me through some of your, one of your bigger takes here that uh, Infinity War is Captain America's fault? <laughs> I can't remember when or why I said that. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. But this is the thing. The reason why it's his fault is the reason why he's such an amazing hero. Because right. he's like, we're not going to sacrifice anyone. Like, there, there always has to be another way. He was incorrect. But then also he was right in the end. Because yeah. everything was fine. We did lose some people that we care about. Yeah. Um, you know, but it is his fault because he should have just ripped that thing out of his homie's head Here you go. <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but again, that's what makes him such a great character. And I think some of the like the amazing success of that first part of the MCU was like those characters were so true to themselves, and they they made sense. All of the, the decisions they made, even if you didn't agree with them, they made perfect sense to who they were. So, even though I blame him, I understand him. I understand it too. And if you want to give any other hot takes about the MCU, I am open for a group chat <laughs> whenever <laughs> you want it. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of like Marvel obsessives, I have to talk about Amon. Oh yes. Like yes, uh, like, I have to as well because I love her. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who who knows more about the MCU? You or Miss Marvel herself? Miss Marvel herself. Oh period. really? Of story. Yeah, a hundred percent. What? One hundred percent. I may have more years on her, but she has just she just has more in her head. Of, yeah. And a notebook. And a notebook. The notebook. Just keeping track. A lot of post-it note flags. I'm like, are you taking like the yeah. MCAT? Like, what's I going know. on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, she's exhaustively knowledgeable about the MCU. Right on. Mm. So you also get to work with Yana again mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. How was it the reunion? How is it building out Monica Rambo after One Division? Both things were so amazing. It was so important to me that we really see she goes through so much in one division and we see that she's lost her mother the way she loses her mother coming back from the blip and and then she has this like tension with carol that we kind of see just in that look and it's really important to me that we gave her the space to be a full character and that we see her becoming a hero um because we, we got that for from carol and for Amon. and exactly and then we have that little moment but we want it we want it more you know right. so um which is really great yeah uh, i got only well, got two more mm -hmm. so Captain Marvel's a little bit of a loner she's yeah. been she's been mia for a long time yeah. now after in, in game mm -hmm. like and i guess shang chi's post credit scene right well, how, that. how do you <laughs> yeah right yeah. um how do you tackle her actually having a team like um it was so important to me that we we do that for her um, because she, the first movie was so beautiful because you see this family that she's lost. And mm -hmm. now in this movie, you kind of see how she's isolated herself from family, but family's so important to how any of us get anything done and feel supported and, and can take on the world. So um, yeah, I just really wanted, I just really wanted to be able to see that and who she was in this film. <laughs> 